Cat Mom Mommy here today to do my Hobonichi 2020 unboxing for all of you. And you guys, I know, I know it's late. I know it's late. I ordered with my mom like we do every year. We order put our order in on the 2nd, which was technically the third day to order. So it was September 3rd in Japan, but September 2nd here. We put in our order at like 7.02 p.m. was in there. And it just showed up today, you guys. Well, it actually showed up yesterday, technically. So today is the 18th at like 1.30 in the morning. And it arrived on the 17th in the afternoon. And I had to wait for my husband to get home and for my work day to end in order to do this recording. So we're doing it at like 1.30 in the morning because I cannot wait to get it up. So I know that, like me, you guys have probably watched a ton of unboxings already. But I'm too excited not to do one this year. So like always, you guys, you know, I don't have a tripod set up for planner videos. So I'm sitting on my husband's lap. This is my left hand. I am right handed. We're going to see how this goes. If the camera moves a little bit, it's literally because I'm in his lap trying not to jostle him as he holds the camera. So bless him and let's see how this goes. Now I'm going to start by saying I'm really glad to know that our order came in a white bag. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the number of orders, the number of items that my mom and I ordered together either didn't fit in one box or something happened. Um, I'm not sure what condition the pink box is inside the white bag, but I know that probably upwards of 90% of the un unboxing videos that I've watched have not come in a white bag. So let's go ahead and check out our box. Okay, well that answers our question as to why we got a white bag this year. Ooh, this one's very heavy. So we have two pink boxes, which is nice. It means I can have one and mom can have one. And we are sitting on the floor, you guys. This is my carpet down here, but I was thought maybe we can try to give it a little bit of contrast. So you're seeing this like blue kids minky blanket down there just to give some contrast to the ground. Okay, so this is our lighter box and this one's more heavy. So let's go ahead and start with the lighter one. Okay, you guys, here we go. Now, for those of you who've watched my videos for any length of time, including my planner videos, my Hobonichi haul videos, first, you know, I'm probably in the minority. I don't love the safety match fireplace chat poems or quotes. Their sayings in their boxes. There's yet to be one that has spoken to me. I don't read them out loud. One, because I think it means more when you read something to yourself. And two, because you guys have probably been read this a ton of times at this point. But if you want to read it, go ahead and take a look right here. Oh, all the goodies. Okay, I'm going to grab them out and we'll put them in front of us and take a look. So this literally appears to be a box of our accessories. Um, every year I buy clear covers on covers to store my Hobonichis from the previous year. So my 2021 Hobonichis, when we go into 2022, will go into a clear cover on cover because right now they're in a decorative cover, whether that be in a clear jelly cover with, you know, glitter stars on it, or it's one of the printed ones from Hobonichi. So I always get the clear ones to then store the ones that I had been using for the previous year. So that's what you're seeing here. This is one of the cover on covers. This is for the A5 or the Cousin. And I get a new dashboard just about every year. And I know they had a lot of really fun dashboards this year, but I love this navy and pink one. And you guys have probably seen all this stuff, but we'll go ahead and open it up anyways, just in case, just in case there's someone out there that wants to see the stuff again. Now what you notice is I will have sped up the video and turned off the sound. So anytime I'm opening anything of plastic, I'll try to do that for you guys so you're not hearing it. So we've got that blue Mickey Blake in the background, which is kind of throwing off the color, but you guys can see that it's navy blue with the most beautiful pink. If you guys can see that, it's really, really pretty. On the back side's the navy blue with the ruler. And this is the cousin size. And then we have a clear weeks cover. And then we have the Shantan cover on cover. I love this one, you guys. This is the Eric. Love it so much. I have this one already. It's on my current weeks that I have right now for work. It's just so cute. I needed another one. But this is from the 2021 release. And then this is a clear A6. Okay. 
So if you guys have watched my videos again for any length of time, you know that my mother is the A6 size user and I am the A5 cousin and the Weeks user. But I have played around a little bit with the A6 size in ring bound as well as in like TN notebooks. And I do have an A6 undated that I'm really enjoying. And I really wanted to try maybe using an A6 for my social media planning for next year instead of using a week's like I'm doing right now. Now this one is the Blossom cover and it is beautiful. Let me get this out of the way so you're not seeing glare. This is beautiful. It's very textured. Let me bring it in close so you can see it. It's got this beautiful texturing on it. And the tassels. Oh, it's so pretty. It feels really nice to the touch. It's a really nice linen. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I love the Mina Perhonen covers. And you probably have noticed, I've had a couple ask me, why don't I own any Mina Perhonen? And while I love them, and like the tambourine just spoke to me this year, the navy with the white, I really do not like the vegan leather interior of the Mina Perhonen covers. I think they're gorgeous. I think they're stunning. Um, I just, I wish they'd either do fabric or real leather. And for those people who are, you know, opposed to using leather, I understand. But, you know, even if it was a really nice fabric like this, I would love it so much. But I just can't get behind the vegan leather and the Mina Perhonen. and I just don't like it. But this was a wonderful, wonderful alternative. So pretty. All right, these stencils are giant. Okay, so these are new. And we have two of each one except the pink. So... I got one of each, and my mom got one of each except the pink. So, let's go ahead and start with the pink. These are huge, you guys. Like, as a reference point, this is an open A6. It's almost, like, it's huge. Okay. And it's a substantially thick piece of plastic as well. I can feel it. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so this is really cute have a camel and a lion and looks like an alpaca, kangaroo, that's cute. Okay, so my husband and I were having a talk about what animals we think they are. So we think this is a bear, a camel, a dog. I said wolf. Wolf, buffalo. Bison. Bison. Because Japan could be a buffalo. Alpaca, emu, kangaroo, um, but look how that's thick. I don't think that's a cassowary. It looks like an emu, right, you guys? Not a cassowary, but look. Let's see here. Look how thick that is. Like, I just can't get over like how big it is. It definitely is not a travel, travel easy kind of thing. All right, so this one. Let's see here. What do we Farm have? Farm animals. Here? Farm animals. Okay, so we have a cow, a horse, a sheep. A goat, a pig, a lamb, maybe. All right. That's cute. All right, two down, two to go, you guys. I actually have not seen anybody open these. I've probably watched upwards of 40 unboxing videos. Oh, this is going to blend in with the background. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get it against something else and look at it. Okay, so this looks like zoo animals, maybe. So we have an elephant, a jaguar maybe, a giraffe, a lion, a gorilla. You agree? I say zoo slash African. My husband's saying zoo slash African animals. All right, and we're down to the yellow stencil. We're farm animals. I think these are, yeah, let's see here. We have a rabbit, a fish, a rooster, a fox, a cat, a butterfly, a duck. We have a chicken and a porcupine. A swallow. A swallow. A goose. Yeah, I think I said goose already. Maybe I didn't. Dotson. That's cute. And there's a stork over here. Okay, well, that was awkward trying to, <laughs> to 
determine what animals were on the stencils. All right, here we go. You guys are going to hear my air conditioner just kicked on. It's 1.30 in the morning, you guys. We live in Southern California, and it's still hot enough that our air conditioner just kicked on. So this is our heavy box. Let's go ahead and open up this one. Same quote, same box. Oh, and lots more goodies. Okay. Okay, you guys, so this is more of our actual planner stuff that just came out. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, and this is getting all dirty. Okay, so what I'm going to do after I show you all the stuff that we got from Hobonichi is I'm going to show you my books that I have right now, and just really quickly what they look like in their covers. So you can see how I have them and how I'm kind of using everything, including like the supplemental weekly book, because you're going to see that. So we have our pens. And I'm sure you guys have seen these, but I'll open one again in case anybody in the back has missed out. So I will tell you, everyone in my family knows I write, you guys, with a 0.3 or a 0.38 ink all the time, with the exception of these pens. I love these pens. I think they write beautifully on the Tomoe River paper, and you're either a fan of this pen or you're not. There's kind of no one in between. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm not a fan of juicy ink. I'm not a fan of thick ink, gel ink. Um, so I really like a really thin 0 0.3, 0 0.38. And I love this. This is supposed to be a 0 0.5, but I think it just writes beautifully on the Tomoe River paper. And you guys can see, because it is 1.30 in the morning, so I have my studio lights on in here. But it's a beautiful mint green color this year. And it does have the rubberized and. I did not get any highlighters this year because I have so many highlighters, but these are the Memento pens. And these looked really interesting. And this is supposed to be the Girls' Night Out, I believe is what this color was called. And it is black, gray, light pink, and hot pink. So I'm actually really, really, really excited about these. Let's go ahead and open them up. I actually haven't seen anybody open any of these. Let's take a look. Trying to do this through the viewfinder. Let's see if we can get something to write on. Oh, it's really, really faint. Okay, let's try a different color, you guys, because either this pen is dried up or it's just really, really faint. We'll have to try it on the Tomoe River paper, but look how faint that one was. I think that pen's actually dry. I don't know. I will test them out and I'll leave it in the comments below after I've tested them, what I think of them, in case anybody's interested in them. And then I already own this stencil, but it is actually my favorite stencil that Hobonichi makes. This is the activities one. And then there should be another one in here. My mom got the basic. I thought she'd already had it, but I guess she didn't. Here it is. Here's the basic. So mom ordered the basic this year and I ordered the activities and I love this one because I can do the weather with it. And this one's really nice because you can do perfect, you know, check boxes and all those kind of things. to get you out of the glare here. So these are the double stick tape. These are really, really nice. I still have some from last year, so I didn't order any more, but mom ordered two packages. So if you're ever interested in trying a brand of double-sided tape, double stick tape, this works really well. Then we have another writing board, same like I showed you before. It's the navy and the pink, but this is in the weak size. Okay, let's go ahead and open him. He was at the bottom. I thought he'd be where the pens work as normally they're stuck together but this time they're not. So this is the Not Scary Bear Spoon. And again, you guys have probably seen this already, but let's go ahead and take a look just in case. I'm curious to the weight on it. So it does have a chain so you can attach it. I'm gonna probably put this on my pen bag actually. Let's see here. Does it just come out? It's 
pretty cute, you guys. Her little face. Everyone talked about the happy face, but in some of the videos I couldn't really see it. So there's the face. Really cute. And I literally haven't decided how I feel about these. I used these for the first time last year because my favorite tabs for my weeks I couldn't find, but I wasn't a huge fan of them. So what I did is I stuck them into the weeks and then I stuck monthly tabs over top of them, but they're really inexpensive. So I just you know, didn't want to have FOMO. So just in case I got a blue and a green. And I love these little bands. I have a pink one that I use all the time. And then this is just the blue version. And again, stay tuned to the end. I'll show you very quickly what my setups look like right now that I'm using at the end of 2021. We have three packages of the A6 notebooks. They are very thin. Two of them are mom's and one of them's mine. I'll go ahead and open one of the packages for you. Well, that just didn't open gracefully at all, you guys. But I feel like these have been really popular this year, even more so than normal with the unboxes I've seen. And I think it's the FOMO people are having about the fact that the Tomoe River paper is supposed to change next year, um, since these booklets do have the Tomoe River paper in them. They just, you know, grid line, unnumbered, blank pages. Again, this is the A6 size. And the A6 comes with three this year. It comes with a gray, a yellow, and this blue color. All right, I was hoping the blue would look nice with this blue. Let's see. Let's check it out together. And again, I'm sitting in Hubby's lap. He's handling it really well. All right, let's see here. It's not, you know, it's not a perfect color, but it's complimentary. So, you know, it looks nice. And then there's also the yellow one. This one, ooh, that one looks pretty too. I actually think I like the yellow with it better. But then I also love the gray. Gray is one of my favorite colors. And my mom wanted to try this this year. I'm not gonna open it, but it's the Hobonichi book. I actually can't remember the exact name of this, you guys. I will go ahead and put it right here. Uh, but this is mom, so I'm not going to go ahead and open it. Okay. These are amazing. These are, what, six bucks? They are fantastic. This becomes my everyday carry, you guys. So this is the A6 Supplemental Weekly Book. It has the same Tomoe River paper. It's a little bit smaller than the A6. It's designed to fit inside the A6, so it's a little bit smaller. And it's laid out just like the week on two pages in the A5 Cousin book, and I love it. This is the most perfect everyday carry book imaginable. And again, it's got Tomoe River paper, it's super thin, and it's like a whopping six bucks. So these are moms. This is another set of A6 books, and these are in the, in the mother print. And it comes with a set of three. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna open them just because they're hers and she's, you know, she waits all year to make her order. So I want her to be able to open them, but these are really cute. So this is the mother in the A6. Now this is also my mother's. Now I have made several videos about how I'm a functional planner and how she's a decorative memory keeper. So we'll go ahead and link my planner playlist up above and down in the description box below for anybody who wants to see how I do functional planning versus my mom's decorative memory keeping, but she prefers the Hobonichi English version. And I love it because I love the little black cover that it has. And it's just, it's really nice. You guys can see it's got the gold 2022 here. But again, I'm not gonna open this. There are lots of videos about what this looks like. And again, I will link my playlist where I go over this in detail for you guys. Now this is the Hobonichi Day Free. And this is the one that I'm contemplating using as my social media planner. Right now I'm using a regular week. So not the mega weeks, but the regular weeks as my social media planner, but I'm really thinking I might love this one, which is why I got the A6 cover that I showed you guys. So this is the day for you guys and in the beginning. I'm sure you've seen this, but it'll look really quick. So in the very beginning.
you have 2022, 2021, and 2023. And then here you have what you can, you know, track anything you want, dates, habit trackers, anything like that. And then you move on to the month on two pages. And this goes through March of 2023. So it starts and it ends in, starts in 2022 and ends in March of 2023. And then after your March of 2023, so there's March of 2023, after that, you just have blank pages. And so that's so why it's called the day free. These are not dated. And I just thought it might be a really great way again, you guys, to just do social media planning and keeping track of payments and that kind of stuff. Really cute. Okay, you guys, in my rush to order, I just realized that I accidentally ordered the A6 Hobonichi Techo instead of the A5 Cousin. I use the A5 Cousin. So I believe I have to gift this to somebody or sell it. I need to buy, shoot, I need to buy the A5. So that's not amazing. So <laughs> that's a mistake. Um, yeah, so I do all of my day-to-day -day family planning in a A5 Cousin. It's like a non-negotiable for me. So this isn't gonna work. This was my error. I was trying very hard. So my mom really wanted the um, with time cover. Now the with time cover is the one that's the holographic cover with the lace on top. And again, you guys, I had everything in our cart. Went to check out at seven o'clock, was in there by 7.02 and it jumped the cart. And I was so frantic about it. It actually dumped my entire order when it jumped the cart. So when I went to try to like put something else in there, it dumped my entire order. I had to put everything else back in. And in my haste, you guys, I ordered the wrong book. So I'm not going to open this. This is supposed to be an A5 Cousin. It is not. And then we have two weeks this year, you guys. This is the Saul Leader Footprints one. And this is for my son. So I have a 17-year-old son who is in high school. He's a senior in high school. And he really likes to use the weeks to keep track of his work schedule and his school schedule. And I don't think he'd mind if I open it for you guys. Okay, well the first thing I'm gonna tell you guys is I thought this was a shiny cover and it is not. If you guys can hear that, it's textured. It's not shiny at all. I thought this was gonna be one of the shiny ones. Oh, I like it even more now that I know that it's not shiny. So again, this is the Saul Leader, the footprints and it says 1950. And for those of you who haven't seen a week's before, we'll go ahead and look at it. It's laid out in the beginning, just like the day free is. So you have your habit tracker. Well, you have your, let's go back. You have your month. So you have your 2021, 2022, and 2023. And then you start with your trackers. And then you move on to your months on two pages. And again, it goes through March of 2023. And then you start in with your days like this. And this is incredible. This is a type of planner that I use for my social media planning right now, just a standard weeks. And the standard weeks, I believe comes with 71 blank pages, but let's double check that. Yep, 71 blank pages in the back to do whatever you kind of want to do. But this is great. And it's got the silver 2022 right here. That's beautiful. The last thing to open is the Sunny Blue Mega Weeks. Now the Mega Weeks is what I use for work. I have found that it is absolute perfection for work for me. So again, this is the Sunny Blue. I almost got the pink color, you guys, because I am drawn to pink. I love everything pink, but my last few weeks have been pink. So I wanted to try something new, step out of my comfort zone. And this one also has the Silver 2022. Um, instead of having 71 blank pages though in the back. This one has 217 blank pages in the back. Otherwise it's laid out exactly the same as the regular weeks. I apologize you guys if you can hear my husband breathing. I might have lied to you, it might be 215. Let's see here, I thought it was 217. And if you guys could see us, we are sitting in the most awkward angle, you guys, which is partly why I'm holding the I'm holding the book like this because I can barely reach. My hand is through his hands. Yeah, 215 pages. 
All right, so it's off by two. So it's 215 pages versus the 71. It's laid out exactly the same. And I love it for work. So for work, I can put my, my hours here, um, any basic notes for the day. And then if I have meetings or case notes that I need to do, I can just put C page like 54, you know, because these pages back here are all numbered. And it just, it works out perfectly, but. I mean, I'm sure you guys have all seen this before, but this is the difference between a standard weeks and a mega weeks. And then every week's book does come with the adhesive pocket to put wherever you want on the inside. Sorry, that was out of frame. So every week's comes with an adhesive pocket. You can kind of just put it in here wherever you want. Okay, before this video gets too long, I'm literally going to show you how my planners are very, very quickly. Now, for anybody who wants a detailed look at any of these planner systems I have going on, Go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I am happy to do another video with how I do my planning and all that stuff. But right now I just wanted to show you how I have my books set up. So right here, remember I showed you that I got the A6 supplemental and I love it. And here's the band. So I got the other band in blue. I love this one and I just pulled it off instead of unhooking it the correct way, but it's super easy to use. And in here is my 2021 a6 supplemental and I use this to plan all of my mother's doctor's appointments. So my mother is very sick. She has lots of, lots of doctor's appointments every week and so it's how I keep track of everything. Prior to this, though and in case you guys want to know, this is a Portland Leather Goods passport holder you guys. So this is a passport holder and all I had to do was cut off a tiny little edge of the green cover right here and it slipped in beautifully. Look how thin that is. This is my everyday carry for her doctor's appointments. Before that I was using the day free. So in here is a Foxy, this is a Foxy Fix cover. So before that, I had this book in here with this one and I carried this whole thing. And so I was carrying this one with me and it's the same thing, it was all of her doctor's appointments. So you can see um, all of her stuff. But this one is just so much thinner and easier to use that I'm really enjoying using the supplemental for that. Now I can't open this because this is my work planner. Well, I can open it, but I can't open the inside. This is my work planner and I love it. So here I have the Eric cover and cover that I told you about. I love it so much. And then this is my mega weeks for 2021. Um, and so I love making my own tabs for work. So that's what I've done here. I don't know why I like doing it for work. And I just have a couple of like sections marked off for, for meetings and that kind of stuff. But it's just, it's the most perfect work planner for me. And again, this is also a Foxy Fix cover. I don't know what's happened to Foxy Fix for those of you in the planet community. They kind of closed down at the beginning of the pandemic and didn't come back. This is also a Foxy Fix cover. This is my social media planner. And this was the Sesame Street one and love this. You can see that I wasn't really good about using it because it's not bulked up and obviously I don't want to open it because it's got my social media stuff in it. But I wasn't great about using this. I didn't really love the layout for social media planning, which is why I think I'm going to move on to the day free next year for social media. But again, cover on cover. And then this is where I'm so sad. I really can't believe that I accidentally didn't order a cousin book. Um, so this is, oops, this is my Chic Sparrow cover. I love this one. It was one of my very first purchases from Chic Sparrow. And obviously it's a TN, but I took the strings out. And in here is just my beloved, this is my beloved cousin. And I just, I love decorating them in the beginning of the year. It's just really great. Um, I use every section of it. I use every portion of my planners um, completely. And again, if you guys ever wanna see how I do that, let me know. Um, and then I, I'm not great about using the back section. That's one of my goals. Um, for this next year is to be better about it. Like I started trying a new way of planning this week. So um, I try to use the back pages, but I'm not great about it, but I love this section right here. It's my favorite. So anyways, again, if you guys wanna see how I use my A5, let me know. Oh, and this is what I was talking to you guys about with the landscape tabs. Let's see if I can show you this way. I put the landscape tabs in here and I didn't love it. So then I went ahead and added month tabs on top of the landscape tabs and it just was kind of weird. So I don't know, you can see some ephemera I tipped in there that my children have done for me. 
but yeah, so these, this is my current planning system. It is going to change slightly for 2022. Um, but again, you guys, if you've made it this long, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for putting up with my haul. I'm sure you have seen a ton up until this point, but everybody has a little bit of different take on it and how they do it and what they show. And I feel like I had some items that I hadn't seen really before. I think only I saw, I saw one other person with the blossom cover um, and that one with those giant stencils. So there is something new. And just in case you guys, just in case someone wants to see this because I didn't open it because again, I figured you all have seen it. But the pamphlet for this year, my children will think this is super cute. They're gonna get a huge kick out of this. I think that I'm gonna do like a I spy kind of game with them with these, but it's really, really cute. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.